Here now let's do the new exercise in SOLIDWORKS, exercise number 163. So this is the R 3D model or isometric view. Now we are going to create a 3D model in SOLIDWORKS. So first we will start from this base. You will see this base length 94.54 millimeter and the distance from tangent face of this circle. This circle diameter 16. See here, this, that means radius is 8 millimeter. Then the height 10 millimeter. Then there is one four number of circles, 2 millimeter up from this, and the 8.5 millimeter is the hole for this. Okay, so here first, if you want to change unit, you can drop uh, click this mmg and you will select your units now first you have to choose any one plane so i am going to choose top plane sketch now activate center rectangle draw one right click select or press escape key in your keyboard exit now activate sketch fillet now these fillet 8 millimeter 16 diameter means 8 millimeter now select whole circle uh, rectangle say yes cancel now again activate smart dimension now this length 94 enter the vertical length it's 54 enter now this is your perfect circle okay now select extruded boss base feature or activate it click and activate now first start the same plane which we selected so no need to ch change anything here now here you have to define the direction keep end condition blind so that we can define the thickness so here thickness 10 millimeter is according to our drawing rest keep as it is say yes deactivate real view now select this top face sketch select circle now let's say four circle i am going to choose any number of four circle right click now select all circle and here make one relation equal that's fine now hold shift key because this corner eight millimeter this radius and this diameter 16 so click this two and you will see this constraint cordial look similarly do for all the corners select circle and edge make cordial cordial hold shift key now here we don't need to define any dimension or anything just go to feature activate extruded boss base feature everything same end condition keep blind because we want to change the thickness 2 millimeter so it's become 10 plus 2 it's 12 that's it now let's add four holes and go to hole wizard activate here the third hole metric units now drill size now either you can choose the from here or even though you can select show custom and here defined the same thing now hole is through all the end condition go to position now click on the top face now it is a normal view you are going to see so just place at center keep your cursor near edge and you will see the plus symbol or center center mark similarly do for all Now skip key to exit. Now fully defined the sketch. If you say yes, it will show you the hole. Now here, the next thing we are going to make this circle. 50 outer diameter, inner diameter 38 and distance 60 millimeter from here. And how much the width? You will see the width here. From distance from this center to this circle center, you will see here 68. It is written. So we will extrude those 68, 
then there is one more half circle see here r30 but this is half circle after that this is a kind of uh, what you will say 8 mm is up so and uh, how much the width of this r12 means 24 first create go to right plane sketch now activate two circle circle draw two circle in same center escape key to out activate let's say this one 50 enter 38 now distance from here to origin point 60 is still drawing not defined so what you will do hold shift key select origin point and center of circle make relation vertical that's it go to feature activate extruded boss base feature now here plane we will keep same end condition we will change mid plane because we want to move both sides see if i am going to stretch this arrow it's move on both side so here 68 that's it okay again i am going to choose the same plane right plane sketch circle center now this diameter radius 30 means diameter 60 but there is a step so simply follow those steps if you want to trim let's trim this select this one convert entity trim entity select power trim and just press left mouse and drag it's trimmed extrude keep end condition mid plane and the width 12 into 2 it's 24 mm say yes look now it's time to create this one upper part this is 40 mm long upper radius 12 and distance the most important thing distance you will see this red line shows center line see if you follow the path 30 mm this circle center distance to center distance 30 mm okay we will create this one then we will cut see this there is a taper this length 8 mm and uh, if you will see here some okay 12 mm from here to here it means this is 24 mm now front plane sketch activate don't create any relation go back to the point and see it, it is automatically convert into arc now define first let's define this center center of this circle okay this is the center line now this distance 30 mm that's fine fantastic this radius by default 12 okay now this one you don't need to worry about this because this is going to be trimmed so let's define this 8 mm extrude now keep end condition mid plane and both side 40 mm say okay right plane is sketch now let's trim this is the important part it is like this and up to here now 
this point shows 12 millimeter center of this means this is 12 into 2 24 and this distance from center of this circle 8 millimeter okay this is fully defined now choose your extruded cut keep end condition here through all both and here you must check flip side to cut say yes now look how it is trimmed now the same thing we will reverse click mirror plane front plane and feature here cut extrude one say yes look at here now inside see this is the thing we need to remove this so right click tabs direct editing in direct editing you will find delete face so i am going to choose one two and three and here select option delete and patch say okay look the things are deleted and perfectly clean okay now here is the 11 millimeter throughout hole these things shot out and at bottom there is a rib 8 millimeter length here shows 56 okay then here also one rib shows 8 millimeter this is 20 millimeter and this is also 20 millimeter so let's try first i'll choose this sketch center rectangle activate smart dimension these length shows 56 millimeter now width or thickness 8 millimeter okay why we choose extrude or not rib because rib is not possible the best option is extruded boss base feature now here at the end condition what we will choose up to body choose this body see up to body end condition merge see it is going to take this shape say yes look right plane sketch line okay connect with this end point click the end point vertical smart dimension this length 20 and this length also 20 so this is be calculated now go to feature and activate rib tool see here rib now see arrow in outside direction so here choose flip material side now arrow goes inside for parameters both side because we want this is symmetrical model 8 millimeter let's say yes look the rib is created simply click mirror plane front plane is the center plane for this body and rib feature rib already selected say yes look hole click here hole metric drill size and custom size even you can change it from here 11 keep through all position select this face then place keep cursor near edge and you will see center point click right click escape or press escape key in command a keyboard see this is going to cut a throughout hole say yes look now here the last thing you have to trim see this three millimeter cutout three millimeter we have to make a cutout here now select this face sketch now activate line tool start from this center to up to this end of okay 
Now go to feature and select extruded cut. Now here select through all. Now here choose thin feature. 3 millimeter. If you see normal view. Now change mid plane. So that it is going to cut both side of the line equally. 3 millimeter. Say OK. Now look. This is cut perfectly. If you want to see change the appearance. OK. So this is the simple tutorial where we created a 3D model with the help of isometric view. I hope you like it. Don't forget to share and like our video and please subscribe our channel for more video and more projects in SOLIDWORKS. Thanks for watching.